looking in the Gospel of John chapter 1 and I absolutely love John's Gospel. It's powerful and it begins so powerfully. John opens with this powerful statement concerning the deity of Christ and he makes this strong statement, in the beginning was the Word. And of course this echoes what Genesis says in Genesis 1, in the beginning uh, God created the heavens and the earth and we see the connection between the beginning. Jesus is He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And so He is the Word. He was with God and He is God. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him and without Him nothing was made that was made. And so we see right at the beginning, who are we talking about here? Who is this person, Jesus Christ? Because this is indeed who we're talking about. And we see He is none other than the Creator Himself, that Jesus Christ created all that is. So we understand that Jesus is God because we know God created the heavens and the earth, Genesis 1. We see the connection. Jesus is God in human flesh. In Him was life. And here we see this very strong theme in the Gospel of John. It's one of the primary themes throughout the Gospel of John, this theme of life. The Gospel of John has been called the Gospel of Belief because believing is one of the primary themes of the Gospel. But so too is this theme of life. And Jesus talks about belief and He talks about life because He comes to impart not just a better way of living. He didn't come to just give us an abundant life here and now. He does, but He comes to impart true life, eternal life, everlasting life. And that is this theme here. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Now here's our third theme that we see frequently reoccurring in the Gospel of John, this theme of light. And particularly in chapter 1, John uses this theme of light to communicate the essence of what God wants to, to impart to us. The life was the light of men. So when we hear John talk about light and how Jesus comes as the light, remember Jesus himself said, I am the light of the world. It's one of the seven I am statements of the Gospel of John. So when he says, I am the light of the world, we think about what is light and what does light do and how does light function? And we understand that light enables us to see. Light is a form of energy and so there's, there's an essence, there's a power in, inherent in light. Jesus is light. What does that mean? Well, the Bible here in the Gospel of John says the life, that is the eternal life that Christ is, that Christ has within himself, this is the light of men. And so John is talking, he's, he's using metaphoric language to describe something that's really difficult to describe. He's talking about spiritual realities. And again, spiritual things must be spiritually discerned. But we need to meditate deeply on what is life? What's the essence of life? Life is not just, you know, unceasing existence. There's an essence of life that only Jesus can impart because in Him is life. Now when John opens by saying, in Him was life, in John 1 verse 4, Jesus makes a similar statement and we find this in John chapter 5. And He says in verse 26, for as the Father has life, in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself. And so we see this relationship between Father and Son in that just as God has life in himself, the Father, God the Son has life in himself as well. So we see that Jesus has eternal life inherent in himself and that is how he is able to impart eternal life because it's inside of him. Some people have tried to analogize this to the way that the sun reflects light because it has light inherent in itself. The sun is a, a flaming ball of gas and so the light is emanating from the sun whereas the moon has light but its light is reflected light. It doesn't have light in itself per se but it's dependent on the light that it receives from the sun and so the, the reflection of the light upon the moon is what causes the moon to be illuminated. And so Jesus' light is not just a reflection of the Father's light upon His life. He, is, he would be analogous to the Son where He has life in Himself. 
the light, he is the light. That's why Jesus makes these strong I am statements. I am the light of the world. I am the bread of life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the true vine, and so on. We see these strong I am statements. Jesus is saying, I am God. And so he comes into the world that he made. And this is the mystery that before Christ had been hidden throughout the ages. Now the mystery is unveiled, it's revealed to mankind through the incarnation of Christ. And so this is what the Gospel of John means in John 1.4. In him, Christ was life. It's in him. And the life, that is the life of Christ, was the light of men. And so we need the light of Christ's life to shine upon our lives, to illuminate us. Otherwise, we, like the moon without the sun, remain in darkness. We are dependent upon that light from Christ to illuminate us so we know where we are, we know who we are, and we know who He is. And so that we can be in the light. Abide in me, Jesus says in John 15. There is this abiding in Christ.